The truth is, there's a ton of nutrition nonsense you can see or hear. The problem now is that with the massive amount of information on the web about weight loss, it's getting even harder to separate fact from fiction. Now, many people are failing for ridiculous rules, diets, and notions about losing weight. And the worst part is that those lies will ultimately leave them feeling hungry, tired, frustrated, and never slimmer. A famous one is using supplements for weight loss. Welp, as much as we all want to cut corners, there's just no such way when it comes to getting leaner. Or have you been told maybe that eating fat makes you fat? These are just classic examples of the biggest weight loss lies that just cannot seem to die down. And so, with those in mind, continue watching to discover the top 15 misinformation about losing weight. Lie number one, treat fat as your enemy. For many years, people have been told to avoid fat if they want to lose weight. It's why low fat products were all the rage. The truth is, fat doesn't make you fat so long as it's mostly the healthy kind. Plus, foods that contain healthy fat can speed up metabolism and help shed pounds. In fact, healthy fats are important for the body to function properly. Before we continue, a like would be great. Lie number two, you shouldn't eat after 6 p.m. Many of us have heard that eating at night forces the body to store the food as body fat because during this time the body isn't doing enough activity to burn it all off. What people fail to realize is that the human body never stops burning energy for fuel. It is after all what keeps us constantly alive. Besides, it's absurd to think that the body starts turning food into body fat just because the clock strikes at 6 or 8 in the evening. So no, there's no magic time to stop eating. Lie number 3. A fat burning supplement is a necessity. It's high time people start thinking of supplements as just that. Supplements to eat smartly. There are no miracle pills that help you grow muscle or eliminate fat. For some people, it's only the placebo effect they're feeling. We fall for the marketing schemes because we want the supplements to help us lose weight, thus we become more conscious of what we eat. Lie number four, eat less, move more. Body fat is stored energy. To lose fat, you must burn more calories than you consume. This is why many believe that eating less and moving more ensures weight loss. Theoretically, it works, but it's bad for those with a serious weight problem. For instance, most people who follow this method end up gaining the weight they lost due to physiological and biochemical factors. Thus, restricting your food consumption and performing more physical activity won't be enough. It turns out fat isn't the only scorned macronutrient with regards to weight loss. And yes, we're talking about carbohydrates. Here's why. Line number five, carbs only make you fat. Sure, low-carb diets can support weight loss, provided that it's supplemented with a high-protein intake. Even so, it doesn't mean that carbs cause weight gain. Like fats, carbs aren't all bad. Soda and broccoli are both carbs, but whereas the former is the bad kind, the latter is the good kind. So, choose the right carbs instead of cutting off carbs from your diet altogether. Lie number six, you must always eat breakfast. Any breakfast skippers here? Some folks prefer not to eat in the morning and that's absolutely fine. Even if eating breakfast has a positive effect on metabolism, which by the way it doesn't, it wouldn't help you lose weight if you still didn't manage to achieve a calorie deficit. Conclusion: Skipping breakfast won't affect your ability to lose weight one way or the other. Lie number 7. Fad diets will get you far. Fad diets do work for many, but they're far from being a sustainable strategy. Mind you, as soon as you stop your fad diet, the pounds you desperately wanted to lose come back. Lie number 8. Diet foods and those foods labeled fat-free help you lose weight. Food manufacturers these days are proudly highlighting the words diet or fat-free on their labels. It's all good until you turn the packet and find out that the nutritional breakdown says otherwise. Sweeteners, artificial flavors, and processed foods all contribute to fat gain. To top it off, these foods are likely packed with empty calories. Do you know what's best for you? Stick to the real fat-burning nutrition of healthy, fresh foods. Eating a whole bag of chips is fine because you're going to work hard in the gym later anyway. Unfortunately, out-exercising a bad diet is a huge lie. Lie number 9. Exercising will make up for a bad diet. What happens in the kitchen cannot be made up in the gym. Exercise is an important part of weight loss, but you can easily sabotage your efforts by eating foods like fried meats, processed snacks, and sugary drinks. Nutritious foods can absolutely fuel a good workout. That said, if you want to make up for what you've consumed, then you need to be in the gym for hours upon hours every day to come close to burning all those calories. Lie number 10. 
The longer your gym session is, the better the results. When training in the gym, what matters most is the quality of your workout session, not the duration. You can spend up to four hours slaving away in the gym, but still not get the results you want because you simply don't know what you're doing. In fact, exercising more than an hour isn't recommended as it increases the risk of injury. With the right workout routine as short as 15 minutes per session would already suffice. Lie number 11, going gluten-free will make you lose weight. Who else used to think that gluten-free diets are the solution to weight loss? The truth is, many commercial gluten-free foods have more calories and carbs, hence leading to weight gain over time. Furthermore, these foods are often lacking in fiber, making you less satisfied, which in turn leads to more overeating. When done properly using whole non-processed foods, gluten-free diets can result in weight loss. Having said that, they shouldn't be used solely for weight loss. Line number 12, cheat days are good. Clearly, indulging in greasy foods and sweets won't help you reduce your weight. But the main problem with this philosophy is that it paints your eating habits in a bad light. In a way, it makes your new healthy habits a restricted temporary diet instead of an optimally healthy way of eating long term. You should consider your nutrition and diet as a lifestyle you follow to look and feel best, rather than limitations that you're constantly trying to break free from. Stop counting calories and start paying more attention to what you eat instead. Why? Check out the reason in the next couple of seconds. Line number 13. You need to count calories. Calorie counting only causes you to obsess about quantity when you should be focusing on the quality more. Weight loss doesn't just revolve around calories, especially considering that calories aren't created equal. A candy bar with 100 calories is a far cry from celery or carrot with 100 calories. The human body is complex, so simple philosophies rarely work, if not at all. Line number 14. You may eat as much healthy food as you want. Eating too much food, no matter how healthy those foods are, isn't good either. Sure, having a healthy, balanced diet is essential. However, you can also overeat even the healthiest foods like veggies. Healthy or unhealthy, all foods contain calories and too much of any nutrient will only cause the body to store that excess energy as fat. Line number 15. Going hungry will lead to weight loss. Skipping meals and snacks to lose weight is never going to work. Instead, it'll just make you irritable and frustrated and go off your diet and quickly regain the weight. No meal skipping has always been one of the main rules of dieting, so it's really shocking that some people still do this ridiculous method. Anyway, doing so makes your body hold on to fuel more efficiently by slowing down its metabolism and often triggering overeating, usually the wrong foods, at that later in the day. While the internet is indeed a splendid place to keep yourself informed, it's also a bad place if you're too trusting. Were you also a victim of those lies? How do you feel now after watching this video? Comment your two cents below to share them with the community. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.